It is suggests Florida is still about two and a half weeks away from its peak. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky is live in the newsroom with a closer look at when Florida's cases are expected to spike. Well, last week, Dr. Ali Makdad told News 6 the number of COVID-19 cases would peak on May 3rd and then start tapering off by mid-June. But he admits the data is constantly changing and new data they just received shows Florida will peak on April 21st. It's now earlier than we predicted. Dr. Ali Makdad is with the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation at the University of Washington and says testing data that they are getting from across the globe is having a direct effect on the model for Florida and when it will peak. And the reason it's now earlier than before because we got new data from Italy and Spain that showed that the peak is going faster and coming earlier than it's declining after that. News 6 has been tracking the data released by the Florida Department of Health since the beginning of March. And you can see the steep upward curve of total Florida cases of COVID-19 being reported between March 25th and April 5th. And then a significant spike between April 5th and 6th as more tests are taken and those lab tests are returned. The data also shows a slow increase in the number of deaths attributed to the virus. Now, when I talked with Dr. Mockdot on April 2nd, he said Florida was on a track to have almost 7,000 people die from COVID-19 by August 4th. And it could go up to 18,000 deaths or as low as 1,700 deaths. But Mockdot's message last week still rings true today, that the number of deaths is directly tied to how well people are following the 30-day stay-at-home mandate issued by Governor DeSantis last week. People in Florida can stay at home and reduce this number of mortality. We shouldn't see 6,900 deaths in Florida. We should see less if people adhere to these messages and stay at home. Now, Dr. Mokdad says if Florida starts seeing the number of cases come down at a rapid pace, he still recommends that people living here should still maintain social distancing and stay at home a little bit longer to make sure this virus stops spreading. Live in the newsroom, Adriana Ivashinsky. Getting results, News 6.